What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111. I just finished my e-bike unboxing, now I'm moving to my Airsoft GI unboxing, and I don't know why, but I have a pretty good feeling about this. So this ended up being e-bikes, or Airsoft GI's um, end of year unboxing, so it ended up being like $199, so hopefully we got something good out of this. The e-bike one was only $160, but I, I don't know, I have a good feeling about this. The last time I got something from Airsoft GI, I got the, um, I got the, I think it was that, MP5, the, um, I think it was the competition, no, it was the higher end version of the Elite Force MP5. It ended up actually being a really good gun. It actually came broke in the package though, so I ended up sending it back and they replaced a new one, but I have a good feeling about this, so hopefully this is a good box. And obviously Airsoft GI stuff. The box is some sort of classic army. And it looks like there's a red scope here, so we'll go ahead and go through that first. So... <laughs> That's an interesting red dot scope, bright silver. I don't know if it's like a short dot sight or an EOTech replica. Looks like it's a um, ACOG style sight. Comes with the mounting instructions. I don't know what brand this is or anything. It actually looks pretty decent. I think this looks like the old um, Raptor Defense. So this is Raptor Defense red dot. I wonder if it's red green or if it's just a red dot sight. I don't even think it has the batteries in it yet. We can kind of check out real quick. It looks pretty decent quality, not like the highest quality. Yeah, it does have batteries in it. Not the lowest quality. Sight picture looks fine. I don't know how, these are kind of like older style sights um, with the mounting system. They're okay, but any red dot's honestly a good red dot. So, but I'm curious what classic army this is. So this was ended up being like right around $199, but I don't know. Classic Army total performance. The gun is actually fairly heavy. Doesn't say anything on the outside of the box. So let's see if it's something good. Please be a super sweet gun. And it's a Scar style. I don't know exactly which brand this is, or I'm not what brand, what model. I think this might be the ISSC. Is what they call it. It's Classic Army Scar. Yeah, ISSC, designed by ESC, Classic Army. At the beginning of when I started playing Airsoft, Classic Army was like the best of the best. All of their guns were literally the highest quality. Um, they were the first that created metal bodies outside of because Tokyo Murray couldn't. And so everyone wanted a Classic Army. And I've heard they've, like, this is, I think this is one of their newer versions of the gun. Comes with a tan high cap. It fits in the gun decently. Ooh, looks like an 8.4, um, 1600 million. So probably won't be using that. Um, comes with a standard wall charger. So I'm guessing this is probably just a, a budget-ish gun. Maybe I was a little bit wrong about it, but it looks pretty cool. The body is all polymer. I believe the top is, yeah, the, pot, the top is polymer as well. This comes with some standard style scar flip-up sights. It has, looks like it's got a three position stock and then got a riser as well flipped aside. Yeah, it's one of those scars with the wiring job kind of in the middle. Um, you just got to be careful not to pinch these things because they, they can kind of, it can kind of just be easy to pinch the wires and it's not a good standard flash hider. Most of this gun, it feels like the barrel's metal, the rails are metal, obviously like the uh, mag release is metal. This stock part is actually mostly plastic so that's kind of surprising usually you think that they make that like a, a little bit higher quality metal and then it comes with 500 classic army bbs 250 oh yeah 500 classic army bbs i don't know if these are good they look pretty good they're point twos or point two fives actually wow so they're point two fives that's pretty decent i do like the tan on this i don't think it doesn't seem like it has the best um finish obviously it's polymer it's got a rotary style hop up which is nice um, but I'm interested, this will be kind of a cool gun. I'm interested to see the shooting as your big red sticker right there. Um, but I think that's it on it. I think this, I think this is one of their, the bigger packages. I can honestly, I order these mystery boxes because you guys want to see them and I can't ever remember like, oh, is this one of the good guns? Is this one of the mediocre guns? But I think this one was one of the main guns that every, like the kind of like the, the, what everyone gets. And so it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's still a good, it's still a mystery box. It's still cool. Um, my difference between Airsoft GI and e-bike is I got one gun for 100 
and $99 and Evite gave me two for 160 Evite doesn't charge shipping so I do really like that um, I do like Airsoft GI um, as a site and they do have really high quality stuff and Classic Army stuff is really cool so I'm guessing this is going to shoot way better than those other guns but I wish they would just do free shipping so maybe in the future they'll think about doing something with free shipping just on mystery boxes um, but that'd be kind of cool thanks for watching this video guys this has been Alec Mac 101 and I'll see you guys later